As you can see, in my hand I have for today two lanyards. One consists with only circle stitches, other people call circle stitches, barrel stitches, and here only squirrel stitches, that other people call box stitch. So I'm going to show you today a property that makes them both different from each other, and hopefully that will help you for better understanding these stitches. So let's begin. The box stitch and the circle stitch are both consist with a one by one stitch. So as you can see, I have here the two options of a one by one. So I have here the string that points towards your heroes on the right always. As you can see, it's always going to be on the right. And over here, the string that points towards you is on the left. It's always going to be on the left. So let's call the stitch with the string that points towards you is on the right a positive position and the stitch with the string that points towards you is on the left a negative position. We can also call them by a left and right hand positions. So the string that points towards you is on the right will be a right hand position and the string that points towards you is on the left will be a left hand position. Okay, so after that let's tell you that a box stitch is like multiplying by minus one and a circle stitch is like multiplying by one. So if you had any school, you know that any number times one will be the same number. So a positive number times one will be positive and negative number times one will be negative and minus one will be the opposite. So a for example, a positive number times minus one will be negative number, and a negative number times minus one will be a positive number. So it comes out that if you had a positive position and you make a box stitch, you'll get a negative position. And if you have a negative position and you make a box stitch, you'll get a positive position. And that's why a box stitch is like multiplying by minus one. Now let's move to the circle stitch. Circle stitch is like multiplying by one. So if you had a positive position and to make a circle stitch, you will get a positive position. And if you have a negative position and to make a circle stitch, you'll end up with a negative position. So that's why it's like multiplying by one. Let's move on now to two real examples with a circle and a box. So for our first example, I want to show you with a box stitch and as you can see, here is the right hand position. So let's check out what we'll get after making a box stitch. And as you can see, we have now a left hand position. The second example I want to show you with a circle stitch and I have here a left hand position. So let's see what we'll get after making a circle stitch. And as you can see, we have a left hand position. So in conclusion, if you had first a certain starting position, for example, left, and after making a stitch, you're ending up to a right hand position, that certainly, certainly means that you made a box stitch. But if you had the same position, so if you, for example, you starting at a left hand position and after making a stitch, you're ending up with another, again, left hand position. That means that you made a circle stitch. So, yeah, that's it for this video. I'm going to talk more about it later on. So, see ya.